Hey, this is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest, and we've spent a lot of time tonight. It's about 5 o'clock a.m. in the morning currently, uh, just going through everything related to the patch uh, and kind of figuring everything out right now. So we're going to go over shop deals. Uh, we're going to go over the Chaos Field Boss and Field Boss updates. We're going to go over the Genie updates. If you guys haven't already seen the PSA video about uh, what to do with your Genie tickets, uh, we will go over that again in this video, but please go watch that video because it will really help you um, kind of get into that event. Uh, so let's go ahead and dig in. All right, everybody. So the first thing you need to know is that we actually got two new uh, field bosses and we got two new chaos field bosses as well. So uh, we did get Stella, which we were all expecting. Uh, Stella's ring, of course, is a 10% chance to activate an orb that deals 70% of attack as darkness damage, uh, decreases enemy defense, which is pretty powerful. Uh, we also got Mega Dragon, which I was not expecting. 10% uh, chance when attacked to deal 200% of attack as light damage uh, to the most distant enemy uh, stuns for three seconds. Uh, both of these are definitely really powerful. We killed them very quickly on our server. Uh, the other thing that we got was another Chaos Field boss. So uh, if you have been doing the Chaos Field boss in the Ancient Ruins, uh, you know that the fourth floor was active and they introduced uh, Cold Flame Commander in the last update. Uh, in this update, they did add uh, Floor 4, they added a Nightbringer. And Nightbringer is a very powerful enemy, but he drops significantly more Dark Crystals. So um, it's definitely worth it to get him if you can only go to one of them because your server kills them so fast. I would definitely recommend going to Nightbringer just because the Dark Crystals he drops are quite significant. So definitely uh, keep this in mind if you are considering Chaos Field Boss. Uh, another thing we're going to talk about is uh, the skill Fire Barrage. So there was a new skill introduced and it is called Fire Barrage and it is going to be a passive ability here. Um, it is going to be right here and this is of course very similar to Earth Barrage. Um, it's going to give fire attack plus 1% damage dealt to burned enemies plus 0.05. Uh, this is very similar. It's introduced from the um, Guild Adventure uh, that you're going to be able to do for the new fire area which will be very great. Uh, so that's going on right there probably the thing most people have been asking me about they've been hopping on the stream and uh asking me about the shop deals that are going on right now so i am just going to take a minute and i am going to go ahead and go through the shop real quick and just show you guys what i bought what i thought was a good deal uh and what i thought was going to be worth it overall uh so pulling up the shop there's definitely a couple of things that uh, people were pretty crazy excited for. Um, of course, that's going to be the fact that uh, Kona had a pack that was uh, $79.99 guaranteed Kona. I do think this is a good pack if you are wanting to get Kona. I don't think it's a must get, uh, but I do think this is going to be really good. I think it's going to be better than pulling for him. Uh, I kind of went the route of kind of going through different packs and getting summon tickets. And I think at the end of the day, uh, it's just going to be better to purchase this pack if you are looking at spending. Uh, the premium pass right here is going to be the pass that uh, is the second row on the genie pass for when you are doing the genie. This is going to give you a lot of tokos and we'll talk about where to get all of the tokos because toko is everywhere. Um, my toko is already awakened seven so you are going to see toko Quite a bit. You also get five of these uh, Ancient Genie Dungeon Tickets, uh, which is going to help you kind of clear the Ancient Genie. Uh, in terms of the event packs here, um, you do have the $25 costume pack. I'm not particularly too interested in this just because it's something that uh, I don't really want. And I know that there's going to be, uh, in essence, some type of competition in a way um, with the hard challenge events to potentially get some of these skins. Um, I wasn't too interested in the Raid Up um, toy up here, the four star toy. Uh, I did buy, you can get five of these 199 packs, uh, which give 50,000 gold, a uh, th three four star beans uh and a two egg summon uh this is a pretty good value i bought all five of those or i bought four of these here uh, i did buy the magic carpet pack a lot of people are upset about the magic carpet pack because it's 40 dollars um however what you need to understand is 
um that with that you also get the mount power up chest and you also get the feather teaser and usually you can buy those separately for diamonds so this is essentially an additional one to two thousand diamonds right here uh in terms of value added onto this pack if you are a whale and you do kind of purchase these things to power up your character this is going to be a good pack in general i can understand though why a lot of people are upset about it um there is the ancient genie kingdom pack which gives you 15 summons three ancient genies and 200,000 gold for 799 which is amazing it also gives gummies to your kingdom members uh this is probably the best value right here uh the turcona rate up summon packs will give you 10 summons for 499 and a whole bunch of food as well and you can purchase up to five of them which would be great uh, and then you have the Ancient Genie pack, which this is the standard $2.99 pack that gives you a pink or a green pot weekly. And it also gives you the Ancient Genie tickets. You do want to buy these. Uh, if you can, uh, they would be really good for you. Um, other than that, you do have um, some, nothing new in terms of the starter packs. Um, you are going to go through and you're, I stopped buying the uh pack right here the master pass this one right here i did keep doing the check-in daily adventure and daily premium uh and one of the things that that's going to get you um when you do go uh to the actual genie event basically what we bought is we bought uh the quest down here so we bought the premium pass uh which does give you multiple versions of toko it gives you summon tickets it gives you cookies for toko it gives you gold um it's just overall for 20 dollars. this is one of the best values in the game right now uh especially considering the amount of egg summons that you get from this as well um you get territe you get gold it's just all around incredible and a very good value uh so i would recommend getting that now in terms of um the shop i think that's pretty much everything said and done um i personally will probably buy out the dungeon tickets again uh you can buy dungeon tickets uh within the shop there's a weekly shop as well uh so you can get tokens and you can in the dusk syndicate area uh purchase the tokens weekly so you can get seven of these uh you can also purchase them with diamonds i wouldn't recommend this uh, but it is something you can do uh and while we're talking about this we should probably transition to talking uh about the genie event a little bit and about toko so uh up here in the event menu it's really easy to kind of miss this i think uh part of the reason it's easy to miss this is uh there's so much going on in the game right now that you know the menu up in the upper left is not something you're going to be looking at very often uh, so we do have genie tickets here uh find a dust syndicate member disguised and um find a dust syndicate member following you one thing you want to be careful of is uh what i was doing was i uh basically went through right away and i cleared out the mission objectives early so uh, i went and i did the pots and i killed a whole bunch of pots that had uh dark syndicate members hiding in it and what ended up happening uh, is that when I tried to do something else where I was, you know, trying to expose someone following me or something like that, uh, it wouldn't let me do it because I had reached my quota for the day. Uh, so your quota is 50 coins, uh, 50 farmable coins uh, from syndicate members in Evermore. And it is 450 coins from farming monsters outside of Evermore. So uh, these monsters do spawn and they don't give you much EXP as well. So it is definitely recommended before you pop your green potions uh, that you do farm your tokens first. So you're not wasting your green potions on them. Uh, there is also a toko power up event uh which is really good which you'll get for awakening toko uh going through all of the tickets that i had um i was quite easily able to get toko awakened to seven already uh which is pretty crazy um the genie event is one of those events that again if you haven't seen my like quick tips video on the genie event i would go and watch that right now um just because it was very much more clear and concise than this video is on you know what you need to do right before you start um but you are you have an option to do one player i wouldn't do the one player um i find i think the one player is not the route to go 
I think you are going to all be wanting to do the five player and you are going to want to do the level five. So uh, you are going to want to do the tier five. And one of the things you want to do is lock your ticket so you can get to tier five without spending tickets on tier one, two, three, four. Uh, so how you do that is you go to your inventory and you find your ticket. Let's say it's this fruit and you lock it. And what that does is it stops you from consuming a ticket when you are running the event. Uh, this tip comes from Thin Bear in my Discord. Uh, if you guys are familiar with him, he has a lot of great tips in this game. Uh, but that's going to let you save your tickets as you are progressing your way up uh, so that you don't have to waste your tickets on progressing for tier one, two, three, four, when you could be farming tier five for better rewards. Uh, so that's one thing you are definitely going to want to do. Now, one of the other things that's interesting here is that you are going to encounter lamp skills. Now, uh, a lot of people, when they look at the lamp skills, there's a little confusion here. I was a little confused. Uh, and my understanding is that these are kind of like permanent buffs right now um, while the event is going on. And uh, the permanent events actually do transition to become uh, recorded as a relic. So you do actually get like a CP bonus in the future um, that's going to be tied to how you filled out this uh, lamp. So uh, these are not necessarily going to completely disappear. Now the first row is going to be all primary stats. Uh, the second row, I would highly recommend getting morph resist. Um, so it's going to give you movement speed when you get morph so that you can get the right abilities. Uh, you can also get damage up. You can get, uh, you know, syndicates appearing more. Then on the final one, you can get roll decrease, HP potion decrease, attack up, or uh, obtain two extra medals when defeating syndicate monsters. Uh, so you're going to be leveling this up a lot because this is a lot of the things that are going to be required uh, for the Toko quest. Um, they're going to be kind of the bread and butter of what you're going to want to do. So um, I ran about, in case you guys are wondering about the drop rates, uh, I ran about 20 Dusk Genies on tier five tonight i got one toko um i got six toko cookies so i basically got two tokos um and i got a whole bunch of puzzles so there is a puzzle that goes along with this um you'll also notice there's a challenge mode and if you click on it uh it is coming out month seven week four so this is going to be coming out in a couple of weeks uh because there are a couple of people who were going to say like, oh, should I save my tickets for that? I would not recommend you save your tickets for that right now. Uh, the Tetro puzzle, if you go all the way over here, you can see we just finished it, is the Servant's Lamp. And this is only tier one. I have one piece that's tier one, stopping it from getting tier three. Um, so I have 7,934 CP. Uh, it gives 5,300 HP when the completion stats are done. Uh, it gives 300 crit, 300 evasion, and 4,500 HP. Uh, and then the primary stat that it gives as you do increase it uh, is going to be HP. So it's a very good puzzle. Uh, I would recommend busting it out. Uh, and I think everybody is going to be able to uh, finish this uh, by the time we get there. Uh, I do have a question in chat because I am recording this on stream right now to kind of uh, fill in anybody who's coming to the stream late. And the question is, um, how can you run so many times? So you do get the dungeon, uh, you do get the genie tickets uh, from the dungeons, or from you do get the genie dungeon tickets from the packs that I purchased. Um, but you can also go to the shop if you farmed up enough uh, coins. Uh, so if you went and killed your monsters ahead of time, if you go to the metal shop and you go to the dust syndicate area, uh, you can buy seven of them right here. So even if you're free to play, uh, if you just went out and you farmed uh, 450 of your uh, tokens that you needed uh, you would be able to purchase these and you will be able to um, kind of grab these another thing um, to keep in mind here as well is that there are some things here that uh, change when you buy them so when you buy the lamp page uh, you do end up getting the premium servants uh, lamp pack here I don't think this is worth it you might end up buying it anyway uh, but you do have a couple weekly items here that you are going to want to snag as well. Uh, so I do think uh, that pretty much covers it. There is one event as well that we haven't done uh, just because the timing hasn't worked out. And that's the Llama event um, that does get prompted in the uh, kind of main quest scenario situation. Um, I haven't encountered it yet. 
Um, some people are mentioning it in chat right now that they just did it. Um, I know that's going on. We talked about it in my prep video. I just don't have any information about that event right now. And I don't think it's, you know, going to be necessarily critical currently to do that. I think you get a chest of some sort um, and you open the chest and you can do it like once per day, uh, if I remember correctly. But if anybody has the actual details, um, please feel free to leave it down in the comments down below. Uh, one other thing that was pretty interesting uh, that we did talk about is Kona is uh, appears to be not limited. Uh, so there's no reference to Kona being limited at all. Uh, so it does seem like we are going to be having a small bit of a change uh, from the Korean version of the game. And it does seem like Kona is not limited right now. Uh, anyway, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If I missed anything, please, again, put it down in the comment section down below. It is 5 a.m. right now. I've been streaming for nine hours. Uh, so I do like to experience things before I make videos on them. But being so late and I am tired, I may forget something. So... Uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and have a great rest of your day.